Last year, my youngest daughter was graduating from high school. As she set off to a senior beach trip with friends, I challenged myself as I coped with the season of life I was in. The challenge was to create a series of abstract paintings named with stories, labeled, signed, and sized. Well, I did it, and not the first one sold. I often question myself, are you using the right outlets for sales? Other than a current in-person front, online and various avenues has been my go-to. So today, I want to touch on this series, show you the process, the hard work, and what each piece meant with names. Needless to say, I was bummed that none sold, but always make peace with all I do and celebrate the steps it takes me forward. I want to encourage you, no matter where you are in life, what your journey looks like, or if you even feel productive, shiny friend, everything you do matters. Everything you think of doing matters. Maybe it doesn't reach the stars and numbers. Maybe it doesn't bring in the big bucks. Maybe that's not what the Lord currently has in store. Maybe he knows if it appeared that way, you would miss what he's doing. Like showing you what matters and what doesn't. Or a holding season that brings spiritual growth you didn't realize you were due for. Or doesn't want to fill your schedule so full to block what he's already called you to do. Do the things even if it's tiny steps. Find an outlet, a way to release what you are doing. Let light shine because someone else out there needs to hear your story, your path, what the Lord is doing in your heart. Don't apologize for it. Don't over explain, don't have doubts or anything alike. There's no room to give glory to our Savior in moments like those. Yes, I was bummed. In that moment, not even one piece sold. You better believe it. It's a lot of thought and emotion put in. I just pushed them to the side and processed. Not until months later did I pull them out. <laughs> Sorry to say, but here's the plot twist. I cut them. I cut them in sizes big enough for cards to send. I had Christmas cards in mind because it was in the month of December. Then they didn't seem or feel festive enough, so I created a whole nother series with them in mind. Here's to each piece that I created. The first one I named Zipper Giver. The last one created in the series, the one I spent the longest amount of time on, mainly because I ran from it for a few days. My mood shifted days after creating, as well as my daily task. Once I ventured outside to outside the studio, I was able to regroup. In a sense, this one looks like it doesn't go with a series, but it probably just me realizing the shift, the detachment. Baby of the bunch, last born fantastic free letting go under the power lines the first one completed in the series once the first layers were done I only painted one piece at a time let's say this this final painting came out of nowhere honestly I almost gave up the series was about to be a bust I kept smearing the top layer and things changed drastically for the better. Let this be your encouragement. Better is coming. Don't give up. Don't wait on anyone. Keep doing what you're doing, even if it seems messy, out of control, and I'm here. And I'm done with it. Relax. The beauty is coming.
key tags. This one was created right after Famous Boundaries. My observation doesn't see it looking like a key tag, but it feels like one. That's the point of this series, to get some feelings out. Healing, closure, release, freedom, wordless. So key tags it is. Cardboard on cardboard. Secretly, this is my favorite of the series. Shh. Uneven edges, layers, peaking, splash of reflecting gold seals the deal. Yellow Curb. After the first layers of this series were complete, I ventured on with my day. The excitement of the series taking off gushed over me. The more I drove, trying to complete my day's task, I'd see things out my window. Those things become my inspiration for naming the pieces in this series. Yellow Curve was a first name pick, but the second one created. In the series, one night after dinner, I worked on it. Fun, relaxed, refresh from the day. The texture layers, jagged edges have my heart. Famous Boundaries. This one started the next morning. Once complete, I started the next one in the series. If any in the series are twins, it would be this one and key tags. I painted both of these only using cardboard pieces, no paintbrushes. Cardboard on cardboard. Then spent the late afternoon before cooking dinner, making cooking dinner, marking with color pencils and a few touches of markers. This was the most peaceful time creating. The stories that brought me to this series was inspired out of spending time releasing emotions from a period of time my family walked through in the year 2020 and technically still somewhat walking it. Stories untold because they aren't fully my own to tell and out of respect of others I just needed to create to clear and clean my soul from the hurt, loss, grief, life altering dynamic for my family. If you've ever walked through a season like this, you know it doesn't go easy. You have to take baby steps without losing your mind. And as painful as it can feel, we don't always want to know what we are going to learn along the way. I challenge you to learn. Now, that doesn't mean you necessarily have to create a paint series. You may want to sew, clean a room out, paint a piece of furniture, take a meal to a friend. The bottom line is to do something. Think, reflect, jot down what comes to mind. What does come to mind shows your strength and your gifts. Those are valuable. This is your time to shine, my friend. I'm cheering for you. As a series began, I would create reels. It was my first time ever creating reels on Instagram. They say if you create reels, you're going to blow up on socials. Well, I don't believe it because I didn't blow up. But here's another few words that I put with a post that I created on there one day. I put first layers are like first days. You see them and then you don't until days later when things change, grow into beautiful pieces. I attached those words with the picture that was shown at the beginning of this video, me standing holding my cup of coffee in my studio. The morning I started the series, I took a picture of myself in my studio and then I created a post for my social accounts and I titled it, This Morning, Me Standing in My Art Studio, a place I come to for safety, a place when I don't know what's next, a place I've stood in before and just cried, one no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't paint, one that's helped me through the years grow as a person, a place that protected me even when I didn't know I needed protection, one that holds secrets and truths, one that's granted prayers over paintings, 
one where I wish some things weren't the way they are. One where I had to learn to love my creations, my handwriting, where I've developed skills as an artist of my own beyond what others want. It's where I've become and I continue becoming. To some, it's just a room, messy, paint, canvas, paper, key things, pencils, markers, brushes, glitter. This morning, me warming up, wondering what's next. What project will I start? Last time a child graduated high school, I wrote a book. This time, I'm in the studio wondering. The most I got done was sorting through some things, and that's okay. That's how life is. Some days, looking, plotting, planning, sorting before the good stuff takes place. Cardboard series coming.